Now, once we create the successful MongoDB connection, let's create the MongoDB schema and specify a border to all these text boxes because I don't want these error messages. So I'm going to back to the register.js file. Let me close all these files. Inside this register.js, to the first input text box, right up here, I'm going to copy this condition and then right here, I'm going to select this, specify template string like this and then call here dollar, curry braces and paste that condition. And then I'm going to say here question mark if this condition became true, then return border rows 600. Otherwise, return nothing. And then you need to copy this and then specify that inside the curly braces because this is also a variable. Now, let me remove this message. You can see I don't have this message. Let me do the same for this second input text box. Let me copy this division tag completely and then specify that right here. And instead of this condition, this time I'm going to copy this condition and then specify that right here and then I'm going to comment this statement. So I'm going to have the red border to the email. Then let me do the same thing for this div. Let me copy this div and specify that right here. After that, let me copy this condition, comment this statement and then specify this condition here. Just after that, let me copy this div at the last time and then specify that then let me copy this condition and then specify this condition right up here. Comment this statement, save the changes. You can see now I'm going to have this red border to all the input text boxes. So if there is an error inside this input text boxes, I'm going to get this red border. Now that's upon you. You can display user messages as well. That's completely upon you. Now once you've done that, let me create the user scheme. So to create a MongoDB schema, I'm going to create a new folder inside this project. Name this folder model. And then here, I'm going to create a new file, name this file schema.js. And inside this file, let me first import few statements. Now, because we need schema object from the mongoose, we need models and model from the mongoose. At the top, we need to say import. In the object, we say schema from mongoose. And then we also need model and models. Just out of that. Right down here, we need to say constant user schema is equal to new schema. And inside this object, I'm going to say username is going to be the string. We specify type of data inside this field. Then email is also going to be string. And the password is also a type of string. Now we don't need to create this confirm password field. Just out of that, right down here, we need to say constant users is equal to model and I'm going to create a new model with the name user and then we specify schema to it means structure of the document so I'm going to say here user schema so this is going to create a new model inside a MongoDB and specify this structure in next years you also need to specify these models what if you already have this model inside your database in that case you need to use that existing model so in next year you need to specify here models dot user or and then specify your model statement so if you already have existing model then use this statement otherwise use this a second statement just out of that you need to export this so export as default users save this file close this schema and then i'm going to create a new endpoint inside this api inside this auth folder right here i'm going to create a new endpoint the endpoint name is sign up so when you click on this sign up button I'm going to call that endpoint. So inside this auth here, I'm going to create a new file with the name signup.js. Now that's upon you, you can specify any name to this endpoint. Inside this endpoint here, we need to export a default function. So this is going to be the async function. So we need to first pass here async function and name this function handler. That's upon you, you can specify any name to this function. Here we need to call two parameter request and response inside this just for now i'm going to say response.json and inside this i'm going to say message sign up post request now to check this endpoint is working or not you have to head on to the api folder inside that you have auth folder and inside that you have your sign up.js so i'm going to pass here sign up when i press enter you can say i'm going to have your message sign up post request now as you know this is not a post request this is the get request what I want, I only want to execute 
this handler when there is a post request so only for the post request i'm going to execute this handler otherwise i'm not going to return anything for that we need to check the http method and using this endpoint i'm going to store all these register values inside this mongodb database so let me show you how to do it 